Hi, this is Pablo Trebleves, and I like celebrating my birthday! <laughs> Welcome to 5 Minutes with Dan. Starring Pavlos and Angela Pavlidis, where you get to spend a few minutes with the smartest and coolest kids in the whole world, and they're dead, too. And now, here are your hosts, Pavlos, Angela, and Nick Pavlidis. Hey, everybody, this is Nick Pavlidis, and thank you so much for being here for another episode of 5 Minutes with Dad. This is the podcast where you get to listen in on a little father-son or daddy-daughter time with me, my six, nope, now seven-year-old son, Pavlos, or my four-year-old daughter, Angela. Today is the birthday episode for Pavlos. So everything is birthday-themed. The intro, we had a great recording for a podcast uh, interview with him for his birthday and even the resource of the week. But before I do that, I want to thank MC Lobshire, Three Bobs and Coffee Rules for the awesome five-star reviews in iTunes. We appreciate all the reviews we get because it helps us maintain visibility in iTunes and reach more parents. So if you haven't yet, you can go to 5minuteswithdad.com slash iTunes, or if you listen through Stitcher or Google Play, wherever you listen, the reviews really help us get noticed and stay in front of people's eyes to get into their ears so that way we can encourage and inspire other people to hang out have some more fun with their kids so thank you thank you thank you now the resource of the week the resource of the week continues the birthday theme because this is one of the presents we got for pavlos and if you listened last week you knew that the resource or you know that the resource of the week was what if it were possible by joanne miller and clara logsden the grandmother granddaughter combination and that clara did the uh did the illustrations for the book it's a great kids book and if you go to 5 minutes with com slash possible you can get that right off of amazon or you can go to uh the show notes 5 minutes with com and find the links to joanne's and clara's website where you can buy it on there but this week clara did the illustrations all of the illustrations at 8 years old for the book and she did it in watercolor pencils and pavlos loves watercolor pencils uh, he uses them at school in art class and when i saw what clara did in with her illustrations we went out and we spoke with pavlos but he said oh yeah i use those at school or, or art class all the time and he loves them so we got them for him for his birthday he hasn't received them yet when you're listening to this because i'm recording this the night before but he loves these pencils so if you want to pick them up they're great you just they're all colored pencils. There's 72 different colors and you color just like you would with a pencil. Then you take a little paintbrush, you put some water, dip it in water, and then you paint over what you drew with the pencil and it turns it into a watercolor and it looks really, really cool. So if you go to five minutes with dad.com slash pencils, that's plural P E N C I L S. That's our affiliate link to send you over to Amazon to score your own set of watercolor pencils. It's the best way to make sure that you have, you can have some fun artwork without all of the mess of regular watercolors or other paints. So thanks again. And Listen in because it's a really, really fun show where I share some really cool things about Pavlos that he accomplished before his seventh birthday, really just in the last year. So check it out. Enjoy the show. Who's ready for an awesome episode of Five Minutes Dead and Pavlos? Yes, and Pavlos. Today's a really, really special day here at Five Minutes with Dad because today we celebrate one of our hosts no longer being part of the show and who is that pavlos pavlos we're all saying goodbye to pavlos but not all pavlos just which pavlos the six pavlos the six-year-old pavlos because today is pavlos's birthday so we have a new host it's not really a new host we're just joking around it's a seven-year-old, right, Pablos? Yeah. Yes. So it's a very special day, June 6th, and to celebrate today because we love doing our show and sharing things with you that you and your parents or you and your kids, if you're a parent listening, can do to have some fun together, to connect more, or to learn a little bit more. What do you think, Pablos? Good idea? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so today I am going to share something with Pavlos that I love to do once in a while, one 
one at a time, but June every year. my birthday, and it's on Monday. Yes, but every year on Pavlos's birthday, I like to share a number of things that he, that I love about this past year with Pavlos that I love that that he's done this year. And it's not a complete list because there's so much that I love about Pavlos and so many things that I'm proud of about Pavlos. But today, because he's turning seven, I'm going to mention seven of them. And I'm just going to take a little while because we're not going to go too, too long. We just do our five minutes episodes. So I'm going to take a little while and just mention a little bit about seven things, because Pavlos is seven years old, that I loved observing about Pavlos this year. And the first one is that Pavlos, Pavlos, I just told Pavlos this one. So yeah, you may have heard him in the background. But the first one is that when Pavlos started playing soccer, he was a little shy at first, right, buddy? Yeah. And I told Pavlos, don't worry about soccer. Don't worry about how, how to kick the ball. Don't worry about whether the ball goes out of bounds. Don't worry about that stuff. Just worry about two or concern yourself with two muscles. Which muscles are those, Pavlos? Hustle muscles. Yes. I said, Pavlos, if you just have the strongest hustle muscles, all everything else will come together. And where are your hustle muscles? Head and heart. Yes, the head and the heart. So if you just concentrate on your head telling you keep going, keep going, and your heart saying that push it, push it for the game, you will do great. And Pavlos's coach at the end of the year, I didn't tell Pavlos anything. I didn't say dribble this way or cut that way. We didn't do tricks and tips and things. We just said, just go out there, have fun, and hustle with muscle, right? Yeah. And at the end of the year, Pavlos' coach told me that he made the most improvement and he could not believe how great of a soccer player Pavlos was because he did such a great job. So I am so proud that when we talked about that, that you went out there and you did it. And every time you play a sport, even just yesterday at your friend's birthday party, when you were playing hockey and you were playing soccer out there, you were hustling and baseball. And, and baseball. You hustled and you keep that up and you're doing a great job, Pavlos. So number two is that Pavlos is confident. Pavlos has grown into a very confident big boy and he loves the color pink. He's not afraid to tell people about it. He loves wearing pink and it's a great color. It looks really handsome on him. And he is confident with who he is. Right, Pavlos? Yeah. That's right. Pavlos, if you could be someone else, would you want to be someone else? Or are you happy with being Pavlos? Happy being Pavlos. And I love that so much about you. Number three, Pavlos loves his little sister. Every time we go somewhere and there's a line to get something, you put your arm around your sister and you bring her right up there with you to get candy after baseball games, to get ice cream if you're at the ice cream store. I love that you take care of your sister and that you love your sister. I'm really proud of that. All right, so number four, Pavlos. This is a little bit similar to number three, but this was one time where I was so proud that I want to mention it separately. And speaking of some boom, 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 and you hear the other, you hear Angie. How and many minutes, Dad? you can come over here, honey bunny, just a cup, just two more minutes. I'm just telling Pavlos one, two, three, four more things that I am proud of about Pavlos and love about Pavlos from this past year. So, yes, four more things. And this one thing is actually about Angela. It's Pavlos has grown to be a really, really great leader in our family. Yes, of the Lion Guard. No, Pavlos, because when Pavlos and Angela, they took the big Legos and they made a lava pit and the Legos were the safe spots. And if you fell off the Legos, come here, Angela, I'm going to ask you a question. If you fell off the Legos, you went into what? Do you remember? Come over here. No one can hear you. What was it, Pavlos? Lava. And Angela was scared, but Pavlos told her, what did you tell Angie she had to do, and then she could do it? Say, Angela can believe in herself. I can Say it louder. Angela can believe in herself. Angela can believe in herself. Angela can believe in herself. Yes, Pavlos told Angela, you can do it. All you need to do is, hang on, I'm going to get Angie the microphone. Believe in yourself, Angela. Yes, and I walked by and I heard something and I said, my goodness, where did that come from? And then Angela was walking across and she said, 
Angie has to believe in herself and she got all the way across. So I'm really proud that you've been leading and helping your sister that way too. And number five, I am, yep, this and then two more. I'm really excited that you've become such a great helper. You help your grandma parents, you help your mom, you help your dad, and you go to the restaurant and help out, right? Yeah, and I earn money so I can get stuff. Yes, and you earn money, and then with your money, you put it, you divide it into what? Giving, saving, spending, and investing of Pavlos. Yes. So I'm really, really proud that you have been turned into such a great helper and that you're a hard worker and that you save your money and you split it up into the things that money's used for. And number six, I am really proud of how well you have learned to read this year. At the beginning of the year, Pavlos, could you read any words? Just a couple, right? Yeah. But now... Pavlos has been working and practicing, and he can read. Pavlos, you can read way more than 29. Pavlos reads entire books. So I'm really, really excited because, yes, 300. Because Pavlos, one of the best things you can do in life is learn how to read because then you get knowledge and you can learn some things that you didn't know. You can find about history. You can find about topics that you like, and you can just have a whole lot of awesome times. So the last one. This is my favorite thing that we have done together because it's different every day and we do it every day. And it's something we never did really before, but it's allowed me to spend some extra time with you and to just have some fun, just you and me and your sister. What do you think this is? Walks. We do a lot of walks and we learn about stuff. We shoot LED flyers, we play games, and daddy can tell you the rest. Yes, we go on walks. One morning, Pavlos woke up early for school, before school, and instead of telling Pavlos, get back in bed, I said, hey, want to go for a walk? And what'd you say? Okay. Yes, and I just had pajama pants on, and we just threw on the closest stuff we had. First, Pavlos wanted to do some crafts, so we did some crafts because Pavlos was planting jelly beans to grow a jelly bean tree or something like that at school, and the kindergartners were taking them, so... Uh, we're digging them back up. So we made little signs that say there are plants here. Remember that? Yeah. And then we went on a walk. And ever since then, we go on a walk and we listen to the sounds of nature. We see the birds around. We saw cardinals and turkeys. And we talk about the grizzly bears and all and sorts of play, things. And, and we play games. Rainy day, game days, we um, don't shoot lily D flyers. We play salmon games. Yes, we. And, there's a. Str- um, Daddy can tell you about salmon. Yes, salmon is a fish, and the they, they swim upstream. So they swim in the wrong direction, it seems, and they jump, try to go up. If you saw a little waterfall, it's like they jump from the bottom of the waterfall to the top. And because of grizzly bears. It, grizzly bears like to eat them, so we so play a little they game. Go, um, up where the grizzly bears aren't. Yes, and the grizzly bears try and catch them, so we play a little game where Pavlos and Angela and are the salmon. Got it. Yep, we saw a video where a grizzly bear caught one. And we play a little game where Pavlos and Angela are the salmon and I am the grizzly bear. We do that when it's well, raining. Usually, um, we, um, we take turns being salmon. Yes. And then if I catch one of them, yeah, we have a lot of fun with that. Oh, my goodness. This is such a fun show. We went over. Oops, we had a little bit of a microphone problem there. Daddy hit the stop button by mistake. But we were just saying we went well over five minutes because we were so busy talking about all the things that are awesome about Pablo's on his birthday. So we are going to stop it now. Stop this episode. But before I go, I'm going to say happy birthday. You You could tell. Go ahead. The time is now 10.44. Yes. So we have some pieces that we're going to put together. Yes, we did the show and it'll get, we're going to finish it up and get it up and live so that way everyone can celebrate with us. Pavlos is happy seventh birthday to you. Tell everybody thank you for listening to this happy birthday Pavlos, seven-year-old Pavs, five minutes with dad episode. Thank you for listening to my birthday. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, 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 bye. So there you have it. Another episode of Five Minutes with Dad in the books. Thanks again to everyone who's reviewed us in iTunes, Stitcher, wherever you listen to us. And don't forget to check out those Artist Choice colored pencils with watercolor paintbrush and case at fiveminuteswithdad.com slash pencils if you want to have some really cool art fun with your kids we'll see you next time 
Thank you for listening to 5 Minutes with Dad. To connect with Pavlos, Angela, and Nick, subscribe to the 5 Minutes with Dad newsletter at 5minuteswithdad.com.